Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, I'm Lucia, and today on the channel we are watching Yellowstone Season 5, Episode 4, this one is called Horses in Heaven, uh, that can do with the fact with last episode, um, Mo was talking to Casey and Monica and Tom was there about how they need to do the ceremony and they need a horse spirit to guide uh, their baby's, uh, baby John's spirit in the passing, and uh, Casey was like, you want me to kill a horse, and Mo was like, no, when, you know, you won't have to sort of like the opportunity will present itself sort of situation thing. And so I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is. Last episode, we also had Monica cut her hair and Mo told Casey that she needs to handle it. It's the way of their people and, you know, the warriors. And when they feel they and from my understanding, I'm probably going to miss a lot of this. Um, and you feel free to explain more, but from my understanding, a warrior feels they've lost or was defeated or they can't help hold themselves as high as they would have been. They cut their hair in ashamed or because they lost basically in some fashion or another. Uh, again, feel free to please let me more details in the comment. And I, like I said, last episode, and like I said, b previous episodes, I love that I'm getting more into the this culture you know i love it i love to see things and learn things that i don't know about like you know another thing would be or learning you know obviously this is a drama you know dramatization of things but you know when uh the wolves were f first introduced to the the park you know how do ranchers deal with that i think that's interesting to learn about but yeah and um last episode was really good and um beth is going to jail listen um she shouldn't have hit the girl with the bottle. <laughs> That's period point blank. So I'm like, yeah. And um it'll be it's it'll be really interesting to see what this Sarah chick does. She's gonna have dinner with Jamie. And Jamie, um, you know, he is the weak link, he is smart, but you know, give him an opportunity to uh, weasel his way out and see what else is better and he will get it basically but you know john did tell him this is your last chance so what will happen also we had the uh wildlife fish whatever the people from the park um go up and like hey you know where's the dog collar and uh rip was able to be like you see those mountain paths go that way go on the chopper so will that come up more i'm not quite sure but it was a really good episode last one and um beth is good at her job and, but she didn't have a birthday, Lloyd. <laughs> but yeah, and um, yeah, let's do this right now. Then I will ask the county attorney to show some mercy based on your diminished capacity to control your fucking emotions. <laughs> so yeah, you just sit here and hope. I guarantee you, he's like, <laughs> on the inside. No matter what, this reaches the press. It's bad it's for dad. embarrassment for our father. I you agree. My father. Where to next? What? An emergency meeting with park officials and U.S. Fish and Wildlife. The doggos. Wolves. Emergency meeting about what? The wolves. Did you say? Usually means someone died in the park. They're in your office. And the wolves. That's my ranch. Uh, we're where? Yes, sir. We had any wolves messing with the cattle? Wolves? No, sir. Fish and Wildlife came by asking the same thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Look, if they get in your cattle, you got to do what you got to do. My guess, they shot him from a distance. Didn't notice the caller. Yes. Got spooked, tried to cover their tracks. Yes. <laughs> These radio callers aren't monitored by us. An NGO pays for this research, and they have the same data we have, and they are going to draw the same conclusion. When they do, they will come after you with both barrels, Governor. Look forward to it. <laughs> Fucking day. <laughs> it's always a day. Can I, uh... Well, there is no self-defense claim in a bar fight. I assume you had been drinking, and I understand you approached Miss Dutton and instigated the incident. I didn't instigate anything. You approached her. Oh. Well, um... Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, you approached Miss Dutton and stated, I'm taking your husband home. You can come with us and watch, or he can tell you about it tomorrow. Are those not your words? <laughs> I mean... 
So if you press charges, the state must press charges against you. And since you're not a resident of Montana, you present a flight risk and your bail will be withheld. You understand what that means? Drop the charges. So she just, she just gets away with it. Why people? She away with anything. She spent the night in jail. She's going to be charged with disorderly conduct. What are they doing? The case's boy is my guess. <laughs> Wolf bones. Imagine. They told us this spot. If I would have known, I would have dug that hole for you. We don't mind. It's part of the ceremony. There's a dead horse over there. When did he die? He died Monday. I got an expeditor coming out tomorrow to bury him. There's we'll a spirit. Him There's we'll put him in the ground beside the boy. There's a spirit. Does he she know about the baby? What the fuck is that? <sighs> What's what? The baby the... What the fuck is that for? Oh, he the forgot. Child? Yes. <laughs> oh no, ammunition. Oh boy. I forgot she didn't know. Look, he's scared. <laughs> Taking you to that clinic is the greatest regret of my life. Have you said sorry? All the awful shit that you have done in your 45 years on this planet, Jamie, that is, you know, that is really saying something. I'm gonna take him from you. Oh my god, Beth, shut I the love fuck. You, father, Jamie. Shut up, Jamie, Beth. You don't deserve it. And he deserves better than you. Next time you see him, you can kiss him goodbye because... You, you see, remember how... You remember how I said you are gonna bring out his crazy and he's gonna do something to you? That, that, that right there. That, that right there. Look at his eyes. Those are them John Lowe eyes. Bruh. Bruh, Beth. I understand. You don't... He, he literally shot his father point blank at the fucking f face. You don't think he'll do something to you? No, it's so little. She looks really good with short hair. Side note. I don't think they want us here. Even if they don't want us. It's important to stay so they know. Even though we care enough to stay. Exactly. Exactly. Make me a promise. Don't ever let him do that to me. Bury the ashes and throw me in the wind. That's all the care I want. Wish that known. No grief isn't meant to be shared. But comfort is. And they could use some now. For sure. We, we need to have a conversation. John. <laughs> This isn't the place, but we do need to talk. Can you meet me at the Capitol tomorrow? I think you should meet me on the reservation. <laughs> Show the people you care enough to visit. I can do that. Yeah. See, going to places matters. Schools, rever reservations, and the like. Peter lived a perfect life. All he saw of this planet was you, and all he knew was mm. you loved him. That's beautiful. That boy lived a perfect life, Monica. We're oh. the only ones who know it was brief. All he knew was you. That you loved him. That's so pretty. <laughs> oh, that was so kind. Remember when he wanted <laughs> her to get an abortion <laughs> with Tate? I'm just saying, life is funny sometimes, you know? But that was beautiful. Got me teary-eyed over here. Where the wolves now? In a place that nobody ever found him. Well, tell me anyways. So you survived. Thank you. Well, there's a catch. A catch? Yeah, Motherfuck. supervised release for six months. Supervised by who? You're looking at him. 
Oh, then it's good. So you released me from prison just to kidnap me? More or less. Need your help. With what? A job, I motherfucker. You. I've had enough of this fruity shit. <laughs> You're about to go fuck. Do you want to go to the bar? Take me somewhere in Peru. Listen, I'm not saying I wouldn't watch it, but I would watch it. I'm watch. I'm watching it. Follow me. When's his baby mama gonna show up? <laughs> Listen to those feet. Those are not men's shoes. Oof. <laughs> Jamie, I did it for the family. <laughs> yeah, not her real name. Mm. What a surprise. Our justice system is in a state of utter collapse, huh? You should know, Beth. And think of all the hard work I did to put you in prison. Shut up, Beth. And think of all the hard work I'm doing to stay out. <laughs> and I do mean hard. Uh! Pick you up some doxycycline when I'm in town. Kill whatever funk your snatch caught in the clink. <laughs> Actually, I'm I'm and glad I'm starting to stay sober. I'm glad that she, someone you know they're like combative with her because she talks a lot of shit. She does. I would not let your doctor me like that and say something back. All right, that was uh, season five, episode four, "Horses in Heaven." Um, my favorite part of this episode was the conversation with Monica and um, John about child living a perfect life. You know, spoke of his brother, and I like I I love how he related to her in the fact that um, you know he's never told anyone that story before. Sorry, my second. But he's telling her to, I don't know, I just thought it was very beautiful. And, um, yeah. Just, uh, Beth, L listen, Beth, you can't threaten someone's child to take them away from you. Like, I mean, obviously she did. She she can do it. But, like, you can't expect them to not do something. They're going to make you, they're going to. If Jamie does something in retaliation, I'm, I would not be surprised. Again, he got them John Lowe. He gonna crack. It's just a matter of time, really. And he, how how will he cover it up? I don't fucking know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But Jesus, I, I mean, again, I understand where Beth is coming from. I would also be fucking mad and upset too. But like, has Jamie actually pro apologized? He said, you know, that's the worst mistake I've ever done. But like, he never, and then he didn't tell her properly. Dumbass, you know. The white savior. Ooh. Um, and if uh, she, it's not her. If that's not her real name, you know, then who is she? Who is she? You know, the Sarah person. I don't know, but what's her name? Is out of jail. Hard work. Uh, I like Lin Linnell. I think that's a pretty lady too. She's like sophisticated and shit, you know. Um, I I am looking forward to the conversation that John and Tom are gonna have. I'm glad that uh Tom was like, "Can you come to the reservation to show him that you care?" I'm glad he called that out. And um, yeah, I really like the guy telling John telling the guy. He's like, "The thing is that you're dead serious telling me this, and I just like, bro, <laughs> that was funny actually. Like, don't try to farm a farmer." And again, the situation with the wolves, it looks to be like it's going to be even more so complicated than it already is. So that'll be exciting to see to develop. But yeah, really good episode. Last episode on this one was just really good. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye for now.